welcome back to another edition of New Day Midday, where we take a moment to talk about the good moments or the memorable moments from the show and online. First story that we want to talk about is really some amazing video that first you should see the video. An undercover DEA agent is being hailed a hero this morning. He saved a family from a burning truck. Harold Hurley was driving along Interstate 40 in Memphis when he noticed flames coming from a truck's exhaust. He turned on his emergency lights, got the truck to pull over with seconds to spare. Inside that vehicle, a mom and her four young children, the kids were all in car seats. Hurley helped them all get out before the truck was engulfed in flames. You think, well, of course, what's he supposed to do? A lot of people don't stop, you know, no matter how urgent the situation. And he did, and it made all the difference. Had he not done that, the outcome would have been what you think it would have been. An appropriate terrible. reaction, I would say, on social media. Jane on Facebook, good job, our federal agents at work. Tony on Facebook, he saved lives. Kudos to him. Numero dos, Paul Walker. Uh, you all know the circumstances now, the car accident, he and his friend were in the race car, I, it crashed and they died. The question is, how do you remember someone like this? Because who was Paul Walker as a man? All right, there's a couple, the Uphams. They're looking for an engagement ring. Uh, the man in the couple is a recently returned to Rock Fed. He's about to do another hitch overseas. They're looking for a ring. They don't have the money. They know what they want, but they don't have it. A very common so situation. So they leave the store empty-handed. The clerk comes out and says, wait, 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 not so fast and hands them a bag. And the bag is a box, and the box is the ring that they wanted, $9,000. Now rewind two steps. While they were shopping, they met another shopper, the shopper, Paul Walker. They always suspected that he had bought the ring. But they never really knew. The clerk was sworn to secrecy because Paul Walker did not want any recognition for it. Mm -hmm. The ladies came out holding a bag and, and just simply said, here's your ring. And I... I think both of our mouths dropped. It's still to this day the most generous thing anyone's ever done for me. When we think about uh, how to remember this person, not just as an actor, but as a man, this is a story that should be out there for his family, for his daughter to know. That's who Paul Walker is. All right, on to the next one. A little lighter note for everyone on this one. So every year at the White House, they have many a holiday party, mm. and inevitably something crazy is gonna happen when you have a lot of people coming in. So- And booze. <laughs> Booze was not involved. Oh, was it? No. It involves a two-year-old little girl and a dog. One of the first pooches causing a bit of a stir at the White House, the Obama's new Portuguese water dog, quite exuberantly. Sonny went nose to nose with a two-year-old girl who's taking a tour of the White House holiday decorations. Sonny jumped up, as excited puppies will do. Little Ashton Gardner got knocked on the ground, lost her footing, took a bit of a tumble. Ashton did get up, told the First Lady that she was okay, and then received some kisses from Sonny. You guys were, I don't know, you reacted a little violently, actually, um, to us talking about this story. Some of you on Twitter said it was pathetic that this is getting coverage. Um, and also... And then tweet about it. Yeah. So why'd you tweet about it, if you think it's so pathetic it's getting coverage? You see what I'm saying? I make only this point. In covering the White House and working around the White House, the one question I think I get asked most often is, have you met the dogs? People love the dogs, and people love the holiday season. So when something funny, cute like this happens and no one's hurt, why not? Here's the next one. This one was great. You know why? Because I like it. So It does involve violence and teeth. Yes. So these people are fishing. They're watching themselves fishing. The GoPro is mounted. They're looking for tuna. Up swims Mako Show. And they get this phenomenal view of what it looks like. And it's like lips go back and its teeth come out. And you're like the watching the water go through the gills. All business. Those things are designed to eat stuff. You know, we're always wondering as fishermen. I wonder how this thing sees it. I wonder how the fish sees it. Now they know. Go now pro. they know. And again, I will say every time we do a shark story, I love sharks. Yeah, you know, as long as they're not swimming around you in the water, then what are you going to do? We wear a, Quick, get a picture uh, of chainmail me. suit sharks. and then they're fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's move on to number five. What? There's another? Yes, there is. The most important story of the day. Instagram challenge. We have the weekly Instagram challenge. <laughs> what? And she's an Instagram does, challenge? He only does it because he hasn't won yet. He needs to try harder. Uh, last week, you guys did a great job with hashtag thankful. I'm thankful for him, even though it's very hard to get. Cool one this week. Hashtag window. We have viewers almost everywhere, so show me what it looks like out your window. Here's a view from my office. And a much better one from my executive producer's office. Hashtag window, hashtag new day CNN. Please submit, let us know what you think. I, I do want to point out one of our great fans, at Ted Woods on Instagram. He was one of the first people to respond and he said this, said this great one. Hey Kate, I work in a radio studio with two windows, but you can't really see much. 
There's a wall and another studio out there. And there's an update anchor. And there's a dog. At Ted Woods, that was cool. That's a good, we have windows in the studio that are kind of fugazi windows that look out on the city. They are fugazi windows, exist. actually. They are fake windows, they're monitors. They actually- Was that bad that we admit that? No, there actually are real scenes from New York City. Yes. I know this because I live with this really uh, nice lady in my apartment building and she says she won't watch my show <laughs> because the picture behind me is of her husband's apartment, her ex-husband's apartment building. And she's like, so every time I look at you, I see my ex-husband's apartment building, I can't watch the show. Oh, I'm sorry. I went over the mandatory time limit of things not about kids. <laughs> that was a good one. Okay, that's it for us on your day. <laughs> Hope you're having a good one. We will see you later.